What is a test strategy? How do you get commitment from your stakeholders? What's the difference between a strategy and a plan? How do you manage risk? Will anyone read it? Have you ever written a document that no one read? You might think that a test strategy is a document, but I want to move away from that idea. I want to suggest that strategy is a thought process, not necessarily a document. Now, you might write stuff down and you might uh, be required to write down a strategy for a larger, more formal project, of course. But often the strategy is more about the conversations you have with stakeholders and the other participants in your project. So I want to move away from documentation so much as encouraging you to think about the, the kind of conversations you need to have and the decisions you need to make to capture in whatever you call and whatever you record as a test strategy. Now, if we think of testing as a service, uh, what we actually do is through testing, we provide information to stakeholders. And I want to use that idea to drive the thinking that you need to do to define a test strategy. In effect, we behave like journalists. We deliver news. Um, it's not for us to say whether that news is good news or bad news. Uh, that's for the stakeholders to decide. But overall, the strategy defines the process we will use. Now, I want to suggest that uh, process, I'm going to explain in a second, but I want to suggest that uh, process is what imp what's important, not ceremony. And let's differentiate the two. Process is really a description of how things get done. Process has acquired, though, a kind of tarnished reputation with big projects uh, demanding very heavy duty processes. Uh, and this, is, this all dates from the uh, 1970s and, and, and 80s, I think, when structured methods uh, came on the scene and were the popular go to way of delivering software from the largest projects to probably the smallest. Um, now, they suited uh, large scale, formal, uh, formalized projects. But trusted to excess, high process became formality, documentation, bureaucracy and meaningless ceremony. And I want to suggest that we need to move away from that. Now, Agile was a reaction to this kind of wasteful bureaucracy. Uh, but all the same, Agile continues to deliver DevOps are popular now. But for most organizations, they use a, a hybrid approach. There might be a little bit of waterfall, there might be a little bit of agile and a little bit of uh, continuous delivery, DevOps, all in the mix for you. Now, of course, the proportions will vary from uh, place to place. However your project delivers, your test strategy needs to align with your development and delivery approach. The challenge today is how do we strategize to define a test process? I want to suggest this, that a test strategy answers questions and sets expectations within your project. It presents some decisions that can be made ahead of time. So some things we know, we know we're going to do, we know how we're going to approach uh, the problem of, of development and test. But where we don't know the answer to the question, we don't know what the decision could be, we might define a process or method to arrive at that decision. What information do we need to make those decisions in flight, in the project itself? Now, of course, there are some things that we can't predict. Uh, unexpected uh, events or the unknowns that we, have, have, we are completely ignorant of so far. Um, we might want to set out some principles that we follow in coming to a decision as to how we approach and tackle the problem of uncertainty or complexity. So what the strategy does is it sets expectations for uh, stakeholders and the rest of the project team who are going to be working towards this idea of delivering a high quality system or service. Now, if testing is an information provision service, the strategy starts with who our stakeholders are and what they need from us to make their decisions. What information do they need, when, how, how often? The test strategy usually defines some other pieces of information for us. 
Who are the testing stakeholders? What are their concerns? What are they worried about? And how this information will be used to scope the testing that we're going to undertake. What, when and how testing will report to stakeholders? Who will perform the testing and reporting? How the project is structured and resourced, you know, what people do we need, what skills, what technical resources, environments and so on, and data, what do we are required to deliver? What might change and what could go wrong? We need to think ahead about what testing might reveal and how we can recover the situation and provide information for stakeholders to make bigger decisions than just acceptance. And this is kind of the, the thread that I want to pursue, that, that test strategy is about establishing an expectation of what stakeholders will get from the testing throughout a project or a large program. Now, overall, I want to suggest this, that strategy is a thought process, not necessarily a document. Uh, Dwight Eisenhower, who led the D-Day landings uh, in the Second World War, famously said, the plan is nothing, planning is everything. What I'm trying to say is that it's the conversations that you have with stakeholders and other participants in your project. It's the questions you ask and the answers you get. And the, the content of your strategy, whether it's documented in fine detail or it's a sketch on a whiteboard, this is the essence of what you need to do to gain consensus of how testing will be approached and what testing will deliver for its stakeholders. If you want to know more about the concepts I'm talking about in the Glossary of Terms videos, uh, it will probably help you if you take a look at the Leadership in Tests online class that I created a year or two ago. Uh, it covers some of the topics in more detail and obviously provides more of a structured approach to explanations of the concepts and also uh, gives you some idea of uh, how to do some of the things that I talk about. Uh, I hope you can uh, take a look at it and get value out of it. The link is below uh, bit.ly slash leadintest.